Starbucks Vigilante, Baba Side Long. Big up Haphazard for posting this. Let's go. Let's see what he's saying. I, I like doing uh, less work. Uh, I like doing less work. Yeah. Oh, dude, I almost got a fight this morning. Straight up, close I've ever been to get a fight. Physical fight. Not just an argument and an emotional fight. Straight up, I got out of the car and threatened the guy. Oh, okay, wow. Well, 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 why didn't you start the podcast with that? Okay. I don't know. Okay, so we were talking about movies and stuff. I didn't want to just jump in. All right, so let's go to a commercial break first. By the way, this might be perfect, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is never... I fucking hate Eric Griffin, man. He's such a dork. He's such a fucking loser, isn't it? I remember somebody said in the comments, like, no one laughs at Eric Griffin's jokes more than Eric Griffin. <laughs> Happened. <laughs> Get out. Getting out of the car... All right, so what happened? You, I, I, it, you guys have wife and kids. You would have got out the car. So okay. I always work out early enough. So my wife posted. I didn't. What she post? Uh, she put, "You were my superhero today, and always I hope you talk about it on the pod, of course. But but just so your kid, uh, just know your kids and I were so proud." I love how he has no trouble. I love how he has no trouble reading what she says. Clearly, they're on the same level of intellect they're on the same level they're on this they're literally a match made in heaven they're perfect for each other because he's not struggling to read what she says at all at all at all i love it i fucking love it oh how sexy you came oh. to my rescue at starbucks day i'll forgive i'll forgive you leaving your shoes on the floor okay all right so this was just still, now still she still got a dig in i like that she still got the dig <laughs> in <laughs> at least she posted a picture promoting the giveaway that's cool drive fast all gas .com. okay um so She's not posting a picture promoting the giveaway. She posted a picture of you just driving the car on a random one. He's put a lot of miles into that fucking truck. That giveaway truck is going to be... That giveaway truck is going to be run through. Whoever gets it isn't going to get a brand new truck. That truck is going to... That truck has lived a life. Brendan's driving that truck like it's his second car. Like, fucking hell. Oh. I always work I'll be out in like at Texas, but that's not the, that's I work out at 6 a.m. to get back in time to get the kids ready for you school. Go. By the way, press X to doubt on that one. Press X to doubt that he works out every day at 6 a.m. Press X to doubt. Cool. Back in time? <laughs> yeah, dude. To get back oh in time. Oh, my God. Finally, someone figured it out. <laughs> so so I leave at 6, right? Chris being a cunt to Brendan is always funny. I swear to God. I know he's a diddler. I know he's a diddler. And I know he belongs under a jail. But Chris ragging on Brendan is always funny. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, sorry. So, that's so stupid. Can I get through this? <laughs> he's so angry. He's mad. He's mad. He can't tell his mad story, bro. It's a comedy podcast, bro. I know you were angry in a moment, but let's have some jokes. Let's have some banter. Let's lighten the mood. He's actually pissed off. He can't give his angry play-by-play. -play. He wants to give the angry Ray through play-by-play, but his comedy co-hosts, well, his podcast, his comedy podcast co-hosts are trying to make it funny. And he doesn't want to make it funny. He's in Rogan mode right now. He's in Rogan mode. <laughs> He's on an elliptical time machine. Oh, oh, <laughs> Marty! Oh, he's tearing down notes! <laughs> and he's on the elliptical! One day I wish someone would just, they would just stop and just be like, what's so funny? And no one laughs, just lets him like laugh out what he's saying. Elliptical! Stand master! Burpees! Sit ups! And everyone just stops and just looks at him and be like, What's so funny? Wish someone does that. Like, what's so funny? What's so funny? What did we just say now that would elicit this type of reaction where you're bending over on the table, uh, about to die? Like, come on, man. <laughs> That's so stupid. George Washington? <laughs> <laughs> and dinosaurs? <laughs> just in a made up time. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> fucking big ass t t triceratops uh, and John Adams. Uh, okay. Oh, God. Because <laughs> they're around the same time. Um, no, so I always leave the house early to get back, get the kids ready for school, summer right. camp, whatever. It's 7 a.m. I'm headed back. Okay. And I love how they keep acting like they don't have nannies. I love this whole thing that's going on here. Like, it's just like them two in the house, running a household, running a business, keeping on top of things, stressed out. It's like, bro, bro, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, like. I like how they're acting like there's not like some Guatemalan, Honduran, Nicaraguan, Bolivian, maybe Mexican nannies in that house. You know, come on, bro. Come on, man. I call her and she's like, oh, we left already. I'm like, what the fuck you leave so early? She's like, Tiger has to get there early for summer okay. camp, something has to do. Okay. She's like, we're in line at Starbucks. Okay. I'm like, what's Starbucks? She's like, the one off DeSoto right okay. up here. So I'm like, all right, well, 
I don't want the kids to start the day without seeing me. I'll stop by the Starbucks. I love it. Very cute, dude. As Good we're on dad. the phone, as we're on the phone, I hear, Goo Goo, get the car out. Get the hell out the car, bitch. I'm going to fuck you and the kids up. Okay, already. Look at the lie already. Who's saying the truth? Oh, this couple, man. Brendan and fucking Joanna are fucking made in heaven, but the pathological lying is nauseating. Didn't Joanna say that she called him after the guy went and banged the car? So they get into an argument, her and the guy. Then she calls Brendan after and says, calm down, this guy's scaring me. Now he's saying he was on the phone to her and he heard the guy saying shit to her. Come on, man. Why lie? Why lie? The actual real story is still cool. Why add that little unnecessary lie? Oh, I overheard him. It's like, come on, man. Ay, ay, ay. Every day is not lie day. Jesus Christ. I'm like, whoa. Wait a minute. She's like, babe, this guy's getting out of his car. Get out of his car. He's banging on the thing. I'm like, but, hold on. So you heard it, but then she had to still tell you what was happening. And she said it in that calm tone, babe. There's a man outside of my G-Wagon banging on the bonnet. He is threatening the life of your kids. What should I do? Like, what? That's how she responded, yeah? While you're on the phone. No screaming, no crying, no nothing. There's a man, unknown man, outside of G-Wagon. Cameras detected. Unknown man. Like, what? Fuck off. Like, what? I go lock the doors, roll up the windows, leave them there. Make sure he can't get out. I'm one minute away. Make sure his ass does not leave this. I can hear him yell. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So there's a, there's a guy, there's a strange man trying to intimidate your wife at a Starbucks drive through You think the best thing for you to do is to make your wife stop that guy from leaving so you can get there and beat his ass as opposed to her just get away from the dude and get your kids to safety. Shouldn't the first thing you should say is if he comes any closer, run him over and leave and go somewhere. Make sure the kids are okay and then I'll come and deal with whatever I find in the car park. Not you block him and use your car as a shield. Like what? What kind of advice is this? Honestly. Big up, um, I forgot who said it here in the stream chat. Who said it in the stream chat? Uh, I missed you. Um, apologies, apologies. Um, I missed you. Someone said it in the stream chat. What? Who, who said this here? Either way, yes, it farfic. No, it's um farfic. Either way, you're not allowed to just come assault somebody because they said something. This is America. You're not allowed to. Do, yeah, cool. You're not. No, I didn't. I didn't say. She, I, I didn't say you should allowed to do anything. I'm not. I don't encourage this at all. I think this is a bad move. I'm a fucking addict of the public freakout subreddit. I've watched too many accounts and interactions of people who think they can just go up to somebody, just like you know, get into their faces and be threatening, and then they get their fucking head blown off. You don't just get to do that. Like, you know what I mean? You you can, but you run the risk of losing your life. So I'm not advocating for this in the slightest. I just don't understand the narrative or the storyline or the encouraging of making your wife block the guy. Like, hold on, let me let me rewind it a little bit. I think he said he told her to stop the guy from leaving, didn't he? George Washington <laughs> <laughs> and dinosaurs. <laughs> just in a made up time. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> fucking big ass t t triceratops uh, and John Adams. Uh, okay. Oh, God. Because <laughs> they're around the same time. Um, yeah, exactly. A sort of disease. Absolutely run away from conversation. That's what you should be telling your wife. Please get the kids and yourself away from this dangerous man. And if anything, forget even trying to pick up what happens in the car park. Just get the kids away from this dangerous man. Tell me where you're at and I'll come and meet you. Then if the guy continues to follow you there, then if that's his own issue, you can deal with it how you please. You can go John Wick if you want him. But telling your wife to stop the person that is intimidating and using threatening and whatever la language or body language to get at you and stuff like, ah. No, so I always Bad leave move. the house early to get back, get the kids ready for school, summer right. camp, whatever. Okay. It's 7 a.m. I'm headed okay. back. It's 7 a.m. And I call her and you she's call like, her. oh, we left already. I'm like, what okay. the fuck are you so early? She's like, Tiger has to get there early for uh -huh. summer camp, something has to do. Okay. She's like, we're in line at Starbucks. Okay. Like, everything rolls around Tiger, by the way. Tiger, everything rolls around Tiger. Everything rolls around Tiger. The entire outing will roll around him. His siblings are going to end up hating him, innit? His siblings are going to end up hating him. All resources are poured in Tiger's direction. His siblings are gonna grow up really resenting him. <laughs> Tiger's the apple of everyone's eye in that family. Fucking hell. I'm like, what's Starbucks? She's like, the one off the Soto right uh -huh. up here. So I'm like, all right, well, 
I don't want the kids to start the day without seeing me. I'll stop by the Starbucks. Okay. Okay. Very cute, dude. As Good we're on dad. the phone, as we're on the phone, I hear goo goo. Get the car out. Get First lie, she said the guy did that. F did that, and then she called Brendan after. Brendan saying he heard that on the phone, which is what set him into a blind rage and why he went there, all guns blazing, ready to fuck this guy up. So somebody's lying. Who knows who? Get the hell out the car, bitch. I'm gonna fuck you and the kids up. I'm like, what? wait. Okay, she didn't say he said that, but again, who knows who's lying here? Oh, she's like, babe, this guy's getting out of his car. Get out of his car, he's banging on the thing. I'm like, what? I go lock the doors, roll up the windows. I've got a feeling anyway. Part of me doesn't believe the whole story on either side, but I've got a feeling Brendan's wife was being a cunt to that guy. She said something snarky, made some sort of gesture, and he called her, he called her bluff. What do you say? What did you say? And then again, there's some sort of like, oh, shut the fuck up type of thing. I think that's what happened. I think she actually is the one to blame for the whole thing. She tried to be smart and say something, you know, and then he obviously went up to her and said something back. I think that's what happened because she's trying to make it seem like this guy was trying to bully her. No, no, no. I think that wife said something. <laughs> I think she started everything. <laughs> I swear to God. Leave him there. Make sure he can't get out. Well, I'm one minute away. Make sure his ass lock the doors, roll up the windows. Leave him there. Make sure. Lock the doors, roll up the windows, and leave him there. What do you mean, leave him there? He can't get out. So she wants him to block the guy. Oh, my God. Crap, bad advice. I, I, I'm one minute away. Make sure his ass does not leave this. I can hear him yelling, hitting the car, right? So I go, what kind of car is he in? She's like, he's in a construction truck, like a white truck. I'm like, big dude? She's like, looks pretty big, has a beard. I'm like, cool, say less. I'm <laughs> is he black? <laughs> Hispanic? Tattoos? Is he wearing a chain? Is he throwing up any side? Is he like twisting his fingers in weird contorted ways? Is he saying on Hoover? <laughs> Pulling up, I'm taking a left-hand turn. I see that con that construction truck trying to get out of the way. I fucking cut through all the lanes, middle of traffic. I cut him off. I'm in my F100, the Velocity F100. <laughs> I'm in my F100, Batman coming through. I'm in my F100. People know I mean business. You see the F100, you know this motherfucker beats his wife and he beats random people in the streets. I mean, C yeah. Cut him off. <laughs> this dude fucked up though, because your boy just got done with buys and chest. And also, yeah, and you worked out, you're loose. I'm in a wife beater. Your boy got the veins <laughs> oh, coming right, out. Right, 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 right. The funny part too is she goes, she goes, quit hitting my car. I'm going to call my husband. He goes, get your little ass husband up here. See what the fuck's oh, up. Hilarious. She's like, okay. Oh She's like, okay. <laughs> Those kids don't stand a fucking chance, man. They have two absolute redacts as parents, bro. Fucking hell. <laughs> I was doing chest and by, so I was looking nice and like, what? Aren't you a professional fighter? You want to intimidate some like random construction guy in the wife beer because you're doing a couple of push-ups before you got there. Uh, <laughs> 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 he, he's fucking he, ears. He, he's zipper for no reason. Cauliflower instead of the fucking... <laughs> Well, that's what you gotta do too. <laughs> you got cauliflower I ears. If somebody talks shit, you just go like this. Yeah, what? Yeah. The, the bat signal is just a cauliflower. <laughs> Yo, big up Abe Martinez. I don't like wishing for bad things to happen, but I kind of wish Brendan gets humbled enough already. Nah, I don't want that at all. I don't think people need to get humbled like that to learn things. Just learn them anyway. You don't need to. It doesn't need to be that. It doesn't need to go that to that length. So I don't want that to happen to him at all, um, because the consequences could be fatal. Like. I've seen enough videos of people who legitimately just feel like they're scared of their life and just pull out the gun and just go crazy. Um, hope somebody, somebody for sure in his life, in his family, will hear about this and will react to it the same way we're reacting to it and tell him that was fucked up, that was crazy, that was insane, that was super dangerous. You could have got yourself hurt and killed. You could have put your family at risk. Don't do that again. It's going to get through to him. Someone's gonna, someone close to him is going to tell him not to do that again because this is mad. Especially nowadays, how people are, like to 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 be walking around like this or acting like this is insane. Like it's 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 insane even just in a self defense way. There's plenty of regular guys out there who fucking train every day, work a nine to five, and do their own thing. You would never know looking at him. This guy's a black belt. He can beat your ass. He can twist you in all different ways. He'd fucking knock your head off your shoulders. Just leave people alone. Leave people alone. If you can cuck in, if you can diffuse situations and kind of just leave it at some, you know, frosty words exchange, do that. Not everything needs to be a violent fucking, you know, confrontation because 
sometimes you're going to test the wrong person and they're going to make you pay. So I hope that doesn't happen to him because this is fucking insane. <laughs> and don't they say as well, people in cars, don't they have like heightened sense of like fear and stuff, right? That's why they say like, that's why people say like um, road rage is so common because when you're in a car, you kind of have this like understanding that you're such, you're such a fragile place. You know, any kind of thing, slip of a conversation, slip of concentration, it could cost you your life and shit. So with that being said, people are going to be prone to like going, you know, to the end and um, in terms of to kind of preserve their life and shit. So you have to be very careful. <laughs> it was a cauliflower with cheese on it. It just looks like a tortellini in the sky. Everyone's like, "Is Batman hungry?" Yeah. yeah. So, so I. Look, so then what happens? So I. I, so I, I cut, love this kind of moment, dude. So I cut him off, dude. He just fucked up because all the stars aligned. I was right up the street. Otherwise, he, I, aligned, I would. Yeah. I would never get there in time. Yeah. Well, the so, violence, I that dragon, so I cut him off, and he's like, "Nah, man." He's in the car going, "Nah, man." I go, "No, no, no." And I'm you, calm in this situation. So I go to open. I'm calm in the situation. You cut across four lanes of traffic and block this guy in the middle of the street, allegedly, according to you, but you're calm in the situation. The door, I go, get the what, fuck. What door? His door? His door. I, I go to open it. I go, get the fuck out the and car. And it's this thing? Okay, that's it. That's it. him. And he goes, he goes, nope. And I go, get the fuck out the car. He goes, nope. I go, roll down the window. He rolls down the window. And I just very calmly, I go, do you have a gun? He goes, what? I go, how is this a good, how is this a good story? How does this make him look good? What about if he rolled down the window and just shot you in the face? Do you have a gun? <laughs> what? Are you a fucking fed? Like, what? what is this? Do you have a gun? Are you the police? He goes, do you have a gun? He goes, no. I go, very cool. Get the fuck out the car. He goes, nah, man. I go, no, no, I heard you. Threat I thought, keep the same energy. You're threatening my mm. wife and kid, man. Mm. I'm the yeah. husband. Bring bring his bitch ass up here. Well, here I am. Get the fuck out the car. He goes, oh, nah. Wow. And I go. <laughs> I don't believe this interaction at all. This sounds like a plot from a movie. <laughs> I don't believe this script in the slightest. I don't believe this script in the slightest at all. Press X to fucking doubt that this exchange even happened the way he said it happened. He came through as a fucking hero, being like, get out of the car. Like fucking, like fucking Batman. Get out of the car. Get out of the fucking car. I'm like, what? <laughs> what next? Little smoke grenades to make him confused and he dragged him out. Like, fuck off, man. Go, dude, I'm telling you, get the fuck out the car. He goes, man, I'm just having a rough morning. I go, dude, I can't emphasize enough. Your morning's about to get a lot fucking worse. <laughs> ah, why does everything sound like a fucking movie thing? Your boy is about to get a lot worse. <laughs> My middle name is Bad Morning. <laughs> what? What the fuck is this? Get out the car. He's like, nope, not get out of the car. I'm like, could you get out of the car? He's like, I'm not gonna fight in the middle of the road. I go, all good, dude. You just I'm not gonna fight. <laughs> oh, Brendan <laughs> out here trying to beat up construction workers because they're dead to beep at his wife at a drive through because she was taking too long with her order. Honestly, that's what probably happened. She was probably taking too long debating whether or not she should get fucking almond milk or coconut milk in her fucking latte. The guy beeps a couple of times, gives her the finger. And then she decides to call Brendan and tell him that he's threatening the lives of her and the children. And then it turns into this issue. Honestly, bro, losing your life over a latte is fucking insane. Turn around. You see that dumpster behind the Starbucks? I'll fight you behind there. I'm telling you, no, I won't touch you. Just drive your fucking car to there and I'm going to fuck you up right by that dumpster. And he's like, nah, the thing is. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they believe this story. This is such a fucking fabricated story. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? What is the thing? And my, and my, my kid and the wife, are, my kid and wife are there just like I can yeah, see yeah, them yeah, watching, yeah, yeah. and I'm just super calm. <laughs> and I'm like, no, dude, just uh, we'll we'll do it here, we'll do it there. But either way, you can't talk to people like this, man. Like you, mm -hmm. th you think you're tough talking shit to a, a an innocent that's, female that's, and that's and two crazy. kids. I said, you said you're gonna fuck innocent. Press X to doubt. Kids up. He's like, I never said that. And I go, Tiger. I said, he's eight, dude. Tiger, did he threaten? Oh, no, 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 no. You're doing this in the middle of the street. You can see your kids and your wife in the car over there. Then it switches to you telling Tiger, hey, did he say what he said he said? So what, was Tiger in the car or was he next to you? <laughs> what? <laughs> There's so many holes in this story. First they locked in car with the windows up over there. Now suddenly Tiger's next to you, giving you the play-by-play -play of what this guy said to the mum. Come on, man. You lying, bro.
and he goes yep i go there you go dude get the fuck out the car he yeah. goes no man i go oh, dude i'm telling you just go over there we're gonna figure this out and he's like the thing just fucking almost gets in a fucking wreck and just takes off what's it what's farfix saying here dude i know it's fucked up but you can literally scream in his wife's face that she's a bitch and you're not allowed to assault him what are you talking about my friend what do you mean do you mean if so if somebody was to scream at brendan shaw's wife in the face and call her a fucking bitch and every other expletive under the sun brendan has no recourse to hit that person you're saying I guess you're talking about U.S. law, I'm assuming. And I hear my kids like, yeah. Wow. And then I turn around, I said, T and Bossy, what was the lesson today? They're like, don't hit mom's car. I'm like, that's what? <sighs> sure, that's fine. Mm, that's also, sure. fuck around and find out. Uh -huh. Fuck around and find out. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> 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 He's too big, he gets stuck. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. slow. No, it's slow. It's all... <laughs> I like how he told the story and was waiting for an applause, you know? And they just kind of looked at each other like, it's not that impressive, bro. Like, you can fight, clearly. You know, we've seen you fight. It's also a bullshit reason to maybe potentially lose your life over. I don't know. What do you want? You know what I mean, he was waiting for a round of applause. Like, <laughs> it didn't happen. <laughs> Bit of an anti-climax at the end. <laughs> well, that's like that. That's like Austin Powers. That you know, with, with, with no with Fat Bastard when he they were doing the what he did the wire work. Remember Fat Bastard? I love the I love the difference in them comedically, right? So Chris makes whatever joke he made there. Brendan doesn't just like add to the joke; he just repeats the joke in another way. But then Eric adds to the joke. That's what comedians meant to do. You make a joke, you then add to it to make someone else laugh. But Brendan, the non-comedian. He just repeats what you said in his own way. It's like, come on. <laughs> anyway, little banter thing that I just saw there. After oh, and he gets remember. stuck. Yeah. No, and he's funny. like, they show the, the the six little Asian guys trying to hold him up. <laughs> <laughs> but this guy, I man, this is the this is the internet in a nutshell. Like, there's no. Oh, the internet. Of course, of course, Papa's gonna use this as a moment to like not so subtly threaten people online. The Reddit people, the trolls, the tractors, YouTubers. What does this have to do with people that think you're not funny? What does this have to do with people that make videos pointing out some dumb thing that you said? What? Reddit troll? Like, he's gonna go, he's gonna talk about Reddit trolls now, isn't it? He's gonna talk about Reddit trolls. <laughs> this guy in the truck is probably a troll. He's probably a mod on the Fire in the Kids subreddit. <laughs> uh, hiding behind his keyboard, covered in Cheeto dust. No, uh repercussions for your actions and i told tiger i'm like that's a bull bro there's never repercussions for your actions usually during fucking road rage disputes sometimes you're a road rage dispute with somebody you could sometimes be following each other for like five minutes just swearing at each other back and forth then one of you decides to turn right and it's over usually there's no repercussions repercussions usually happen when you actually get out and start doing like face-to-face -face shit hit whatever but most of the time you flip somebody off, you say something, you call somebody out of their name, and you just keep it moving. Like, well, <laughs> repercussions. 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 Bully dude. I said, notice yeah. how his tune changed yeah, yeah, when right. I confronted him. Because he can beat you and your mom up, but he can't beat me. For up. now. So look how, yeah, for now. Yeah. Give Tiger another year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him another year. <laughs> I said, but that, see how his energy changed when I showed yeah, Joanna up? Joanna another year. And Joanna goes, fucking ass. Jo Joanna, I called her after it. <laughs> <laughs> So stupid. Dude. It took way too long. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, I, I, saw, I, I told Joanna, she goes, you know what's fucking terrifying? What? She goes, how calm you were. She's yeah, like, that yeah. scared the shit. I'm like, yeah. yeah. People that can fight who can't handle themselves it, yeah. aren't all crazy. Yeah. She goes, you just walked out and went, do you have a gun? And he's yeah. like, no. I was like, cool, get out the car. Well, yeah. It, it, yeah that so it's is... better to be calm. Yeah. yeah. Well, 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 it like, escalates like, the situation. Guy is such a fucking liar, man. <laughs> it's just, it's such a, it's such a lame thing to lie about. It's like, who, who cares? Like, why are you even talking about this? Like, I don't know. It's almost like you're, you're trying to goad somebody into like doing something. Like, why would you even tell this story on the podcast? You know, I don't know. It's just, you know, how crazy people are. Like, what are you doing? Are you trying to like, trying to get someone to test you or something? Is that what you want to do?
You want someone to test you. You want you want to prove people wrong and show them that you're bad. Is that what you want to do? Okay, man. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's like, I guess, to equate it to something that I know about. Like, it's like when people are like, how do you deal with hecklers? It's like... It's, something i know about <laughs> what <laughs> i love the narcissistic trading comedians what does it have to do with you and fucking touching up underage girls allegedly what does his story about nearly beating up somebody that allegedly you know harassed his wife at a parking lot have to do with you being cancelled for having a proclivity for like under 16 year old girls allegedly what does that have to do with it please let me know it's the same you've been there you know yeah you've been there exactly yeah. exactly yeah I mean, you're not gonna get your fucking head caved in, but you know. I wasn't gonna cave his head in. No, I know. Tiger I know. asked, "What would you do, Dad?" I'm like, "I wouldn't throw a punch. I would just wait for him, and yeah. then I would get out the way and choke him unconscious, right. and I'd put him back in the truck and film him." <laughs> I go, he, as he comes through, I'm filming. There you go. There you go. Mm. There you go. You know, you fucked up, right? That would be. You know, it'd be really funny. You know, it'd be really actually funny. You know, it'd be really funny. You know how he keeps saying like, no one could beat him up, and only John Jones and Tyson Fury can ever beat him up and shit. Imagine, because he doesn't really train much since he quit the UFC, he doesn't roll. You know, yes, he was a professional fighter, but he doesn't really practice or try to keep his skills sharp. Imagine if nowadays, like some regular guy that works a nine to five, but just happens to do MMA on the side after work every week, evening or something. Imagine you get into altercation with just some dude who beats his ass and he's like several weight classes lower than him or something. Imagine how embarrassing that would be. Former UFC fighter, professional UFC fighter, heavyweight at that, just gets like handled in the parking lot of a target by some dude that takes like Muay Thai classes on the weekend. <laughs> you know how embarrassing that would be? So funny. Yeah, the guy, the guy. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I missed the beginning. Why was yeah, he Yeah, that's it? what I was going to ask too. What happened? Yeah, I get. He was in that big fucking construction yeah. like city truck, and he couldn't fit through the drive-through. Okay, so he was reversing, and Joanna just gave her like a curt like beep, like uh, oh I'll get out the way. Right, and right, then right. the car behind her because she was backing up held on the horn. Uh, and he, I guess he thought maybe it was okay. hers, so, sure. but he was pissed. I don't believe that at all. I don't believe that. I believe the interaction started bad because she said something. What the fuck are you doing? Or something. Just something excessive, which then led to the fallout. I don't believe she was just like, oh, sorry, I'm actually here. Little old me, my little G-Wagon. I'm not sure if you noticed. I don't, I don't think it, I don't think that's how the interact, the altercation started. I don't think so. I think they all played their part in this mess, but I think she also played a more significant part than she's making it seem. I, do, <laughs> I don't think that story happened the way it happened. I don't think so. And then uh, she was like, oh, I'm going to get out the way so he can back up. And he, that's when he got out and started hitting the car. She's what? like, whoa, dude. And, but what if you dude. like, what if you saw footage? <laughs> Big up young gold vibes. I'm low key tired of this man. But we're just, yeah, he's good. Don't worry. We're going to, we're going to get through it. We're going to, no more, no more pausing. Let's just get through it. <laughs> uh, he's probably going to, you know what's funny? He's probably going to talk about this again on Friday the Kid. We're going to get another version of this story in the fire and the kid. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. And it was really this. It was really Joanna going like this. That's so funny. And I just said, my husband will come here yeah, and yeah, fuck yeah, yeah, you yeah. up. Imagine. No, <laughs> on the CCTV. No, the, it, it was like, no there, there was a time when it got a little ghetto because she, wait, she pulled up next like, to him. Yeah, yeah my yeah. dad will fuck you up. Drops the N-word. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Whoa! What if it's, it's like all her fault? <laughs> That's all her fault. Yeah, he did nothing. Yeah. Oh, no, but man. there was a He's time crying. He's like, yeah. I just want, you know. <laughs> I just want my cappuccino. No, sit there. <laughs> no, there was a time when I was like, okay, this is getting weird. And Joanna was like, yeah, talk that shit now. Yeah, yeah I'm like. Yeah, I'm down. I mean, I'm yeah, but I get that. And I mean, that's so yeah, yeah, yeah. to be a woman and have to deal with that must be, it must be bananas, bro. And. I, you know, I don't fault her for being like that afterwards. I mean, I know you don't you don't want to escalate the situation in any way, but like, uh, she was loving it, mate. She was loving every moment of it. She was loving the opportunity to fucking, you know, to call him to come down and kick someone's ass. She wanted to see violence. God, that would feel that must feel so good for her, dude. <laughs> oh, she was like, I've never been so turned on. There I was you like, go. That's what it took. 
That yeah. fat construction guy? That, that's a no, basic. It's not the fat construction that's a guy. Basic. No, I'm just saying, like that. Of course, I can whoop his ass. I'm like, that's you a, don't know that yeah, from the get go. To her rescue. Yeah, it's not a. Oh, dude, I'm talking under 45 seconds. Yeah, no, I know, I know. <laughs> and Tiger's like, Jesus. That's crazy. Oh, like, oh, hang I'm tight. Sorry. You got a gun? That's funny. He almost had like he had like he had the Ghostbuster siren on his car. Yeah. That lightning forward thing. Dun, 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 dun. Um, well, good. That'd be sick. <laughs> we can call Brendan. <laughs> well, that's a uh, good. All good the stars aligned. That's funny. The guy man. just fucked yeah. up. You think, man, I'm just having a bad morning. I'm like, I get that. It's about to get a lot worse, dude. Yeah. Wow. Weird. Wow. Well, at least you didn't. I'm down for that shit. Look, you didn't have to fight. You know, yeah. I wanted. I mean, to. ultimately, I'm at that point in my life. I don't think you wanted to. I promise you, I wanted to. You well, if I you prom- wanted to fight, it would have been. It would have no, been I'm worried, you, no, I'm worried about getting sued. No, I can't. No, 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 I can't. Because I told him that too. I'm like, dude, you get out of the car, you're gonna get fucked up. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Well, I'm giving warnings because mm-hmm. if he's filming or. It's- but then you open the car door and tell him to get out of the car, and now you're telling him if he gets out of the car, he's gonna get fucked up. What? If you want to fight the person, you would have beat him up. You're like, oh, honestly, I'm worried about being. Sued. I think all the he he's, he's, he needs to buy a heavy bag. That's what he should do. Buy a heavy bag and put it in the fucking garage and shit. He's clearly pissed off about stuff happening in his life and maybe the YouTube YouTube videos and the Reddit and the drama and the council, his, his fucking comedy career, blah, 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 blah. Take out your aggression on the fucking heavy bag, bro. Like, because this is going to end in tears. It's because he has he's in a city truck. I've gave him several warnings. Don't get out of the truck. Get out of the truck. Your day's going to be a lot worse. Don't make me do this. Mm-hmm. So if if it's in you know if it's on trial or it's in the court of law, they're like he did warn his ass several times. Yeah. But you, yeah. that's yeah. what goes through my head. I know, but I don't know if that. I don't actually. But you raced over there in forty seconds. You cut through four lanes of traffic to stop his car from going. You then went over to his car door and tried to open it. You then told him to op- lower the window. Then you told him if he gets out, he's gonna get fucked up. How would that work in your favor? <laughs> You're the aggressor here in this entire situation. He was trying to leave, according to you. He was trying to get out of the parking lot. He was trying to go away from your wife and that interaction you had. You cut him off. You keep him there. You threaten him. Like, several times. You ask him if he's got a gun. <laughs> what? Do you think that's going to help you in court? It Well, it, well you know, no, except like for if the you're, fact that they Like, could've... if you're Bruce Lee and you have the skills to kill that's, someone. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's not true. But that's you, that's what I'm saying. You can't be like... These are know, like lethal weapons. Get out of the car. Like, don't get out of the car. I'll fuck you up. Like, you're no, not, I gave him a exactly. one. I said, get out of the car. He goes, no. Get out of the car. Except, you know why he's mixing his things up and he's not making sense? Because he's lying. For he could... They, they could argue that, well, when he got out of the car... He took it as a th- like a life threatening. That's thing. why I said, yeah. if you get out of the car, I'm assuming you want to engage yeah, yeah, yeah. in a physical. Well, what I'm saying combat. is, if you really wanted to, f- that's what- <laughs> no one says physical combat in the heat of a fight. <laughs> Would you like to engage in physical combat? <laughs> what <laughs> physical combat? Fine. I mean, there was, there was ways to get him out of the car. I mean, you could have been like, you know. Trust me, he was going to get out of the car. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But that must have been disappointing then. Yes. So you walked up and you were hoping that he was a tough guy. Yep. Trying to prove. Because then you're like, yes. I was just hoping. Fine. But it wasn't Francis and Ghana. You know I, mean? I hate when he does that. So only person that could beat up is Francis and Ghana. You don't think there's a regular guy on the street who could give you a good run for your money? Especially when you haven't been fighting for the last five years and you've been mostly doing Ozempic and shitting out your guts every two two days and shit. Like, I don't know. I think Papa overestimates his uh his uh, scrapping ability, but hey, what can you do? What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? That's the story. We're probably gonna hear more of the story on the fire and the kid. Um and unfortunately I'm gonna cover it again because that's what I do on here. I know it's annoying, I know it's boring, but it is what it is. We got more lies, more fabrications, more twists, more turns. We might get another video from Brennan's wife. She might up, she might re-upload another video. You never really know. Um, clarifying what happened, actually. Maybe explaining why she deleted the first one. You never know. But yeah, what an absolute shit show of a situation. What an absolute shit show of a situation.